For seven days now, a seven year old has been fighting for his life. The son of the Lakewood shooter has spent the past week trying to overcome a bullet wound to his head. And while police still try to learn why his mother, Janice Moreno, brought him and her AR-15 into the church last Sunday, the 13 Investigates team is learning the little boy endured alleged trauma and abuse well before last Sunday's service. Here's 13 Investigate reporter Kevin Ozebeck. These civil court documents obtained by Eyewitness News paint a picture of a life that was born into misery. According to these filings, the son of Janice Moreno, who we've decided not to name, entered the world allegedly with drugs already in his blood. And the troubles for this little boy, according to his grandmother, only got worse. The seven-year-old smiling while in between his mother and father. A moment of happiness. But according to his paternal grandmother, Wally Carranza, moments like that were all too rare. And she put my grandson in harm's way for seven years. Carranza, in court documents, alleges that harm began the moment her grandson was born. She says delivery doctors and nurses told her Janice Moreno likely induced her own labor at 23 weeks, causing her grandson to be an extreme micro preemie. Carranza claims Moreno then lied on the baby's birth certificate. She falsified all the documents saying that the father, the married father of the child, was dead and that she didn't know who he was. The father, Enrique Carranza, who's serving time in Florida for failing to register as a sex offender, filed his own affidavit in 2022 saying, my wife has fed my son hate since he was born. Wally Carranza goes on to allege that when her grandson was five, he was nonverbal, tube fed and not toilet trained. And then Moreno was caught adding pills and adult cold syrup into her grandson's feeding tube, with Moreno allegedly saying, this is the only way I can get him to sleep. The grandmother says her grandson's feeding tube that was supposed to be in place for two to three weeks was left in for three years. And then there were Moreno's guns. We're concealing the boy's name as his grandmother says it. Handed me a gun one day out of his own diaper bag. And I confronted her about the fact you don't get to bring guns into my home. My greatest fear was it's going to find one of her many guns and kill himself. 13 investigates also obtained this 911 call Moreno made after an argument with Enrique Carranza. You can hear a child in the background. I have guns in my house. So now I'm just like, I'm reporting this to you guys because if he comes over here, I'm shooting him. In 2022, while Wally Carranza was working in France and her son, according to her, was in Florida sick with COVID, a Montgomery County judge ruled Moreno is to remain the little boy's primary caregiver. Two years later, the now seven-year-old found himself next to his mom as she started a gunfight inside Lakewood Church. The Carranza say Child Protective Services knew of Moreno, even claiming a CPS caseworker once said, until she shoots someone, there's nothing more we can do. Do you think the state failed this seven-year-old? Absolutely. If you don't have the right parent, you know, the state has to stand up for you. In Texas, the state is not necessarily standing up for every child. The Texas Department of Family and Protective Services tells us it is investigating the shooting alongside HPD and the FBI, and that as of right now, specifics to this case remain confidential. Kevin Ozbeck, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.